The Department of Medical Oncology is an academic investigative department. It is also focused on bringing uh, groundbreaking, state-of-the-art cancer therapies to patients in a way that is also cost-effective as well as medically effective. The only way that we're going to be able to assess outcomes in a rigorous way is if we have high-quality patient data and corresponding biosamples from the patient that then can be analyzed at the same time. Uh, this is really what leads to a high-impact translational research. So the mission of the Division of Hematologic Malignancies is to uh, produce transformative changes in all aspects of care of patients with blood cancer. The mission has two pillars. The first one is the production of high quality, high impact science to be applied to these patients. And the second one is the design and the implementation of new models of delivery of care for these patients. The goal of the leukemia program is to provide the state of art uh, care for patients with leukemia and also to provide novel therapies for those who do not uh, respond you know, to standard uh, therapies. Okay, so the use of mouse model of human leukemia is uh, a good approach to essentially to make translational, uh, to translate basic science uh, uh, finding into clinical protocols, as indicated, for example, by in a recent approach which was developed in my laboratory, which we combine uh, an inhibitor diesel cycle with uh, apoptosis inducer, and this now will be um, translated into a clinical trial at here at Jefferson. A very exciting project that we have in the lab is using a brand new high-end sequencing technology that allows us to examine the gene expression of individual single leukemia cells. Then using this information, we're able to identify very rare leukemia stem cell populations. What we're trying to do is to develop new targeted therapies so that we can treat different populations within the tumor. So my research is focused on two things fundamentally. The first is the understanding of uh, the mechanism that are leading to the development, progression, and drug resistance uh, for a particular type of lymphoma called T-cell lymphoma. The second area of focus is understanding the role of a particular virus called Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV, in the uh, development of uh, T-cell lymphomas and NK-cell lymphomas in patients who are not immunocompromised. The goal of the lymphoma program is to increase understanding into how lymphomas develop, grow, and survive, and then to use this knowledge to improve treatment of patients with lymphoma. So with support from the Sydney Kimmel Cancer Center and the Division of Hematologic Malignancies and the Department of Pathology, we're able to identify how lymphomas are growing and surviving and how best to treat them. We've identified mechanisms of resistance as well as we have new therapeutic targets that we can go after, which will improve patient outcomes, as well as being able to identify those patients that will best respond to treatments. There are many different information systems into which we duplicatively capture data right now. And we're expecting that this new unified cancer informatics data system will greatly reduce the number of individuals spending time gathering data into the system. One of the major focuses of our system is data quality, which will allow clinicians and researchers to make higher quality decisions. Academic cancer centers contribute to the welfare of patients throughout the world by conducting innovative cancer research and publishing their findings in publicly available journals. And we will be increasing the quality and quantity of our research as a result of availability of higher quality data to our researchers. The bone marrow transplant program at Jefferson was created about 21 years ago with a major focus on trying to find an effective usable donor for every patient that walked in the door. The strategy that we utilize at Jefferson is unique in that we separate the transplant into its two component parts, the immune cells and the stem cells or baby cells. This allows us to control the immune component of the transplant, which is both important for its effectiveness and its risk better than could be done in other transplant approaches. One of the more groundbreaking things that we're trying to do is to utilize two half-match donors in an effort to cut off one of the major escape routes that leukemia cells utilize to evade a single donor's immune system. Our half-matched transplant program has been particularly valuable for African Americans and other minority populations 
who have more difficulty finding a well-matched donor in the unrelated registries that are currently available. Integrating uh, research in clinical care is not necessarily new because uh, this is what we do in small scale in clinical trials uh, every day. What's really new is the fact that we are expanding this clinical research model across populations. And this is going to give us essentially a population of patients where we can measure outcomes based on the intervention that we make, based on those hypotheses. My vision for the Division of Hematologic Malignancies is that by combining high quality research and new models of uh, care delivery, we're going to make our fight against blood cancer faster, smarter, we're going to make it more efficient and then accessible to everyone.